In this vlog, we would like to see the implementation of widget testing in our Flutter application. So in our previous vlogs, we have discussed the unit testing and how it is performed in our Flutter applications. These are the tutorial links which I am providing in the description section below. You may just go through them before getting started with this particular tutorial to know what is the unit testing and how it is performed in Flutter applications. So this particular tutorial is very much important in testing perspective because Flutter apps are made up of widgets. Whatever the thing you see upon the screen is a widget like a text widget input you provide through a text form field buttons and all these things are the widgets by making use of which we build an Flutter application. Testing of a widget has its own importance in Flutter programming. So now let us get started with this tutorial and try to see how a widget testing is performed and by the end of this tutorial I am sure that you will be finding it much easier just like a unit testing how to test a widget. So now let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is like I'm just going to comment all this code or just I'm going to remove this code and I will be providing the code for you in the description section below of the tutorials of our previous tutorials you may go through them and in the description section below I will be providing you this particular code and if you want you can just refer from there. So in the main.dart file let us try to specify the code. So let us start with void main and within the void main let us try to specify run app so these are all the basics which we almost go through every tutorial and now let us try to declare a stateless widget where we specify our my app okay so the first thing you need to import material dot dart here and now all the errors are gone so let us try to return a material app so by now I think you are very much used to this particular structure of your application. So by now I think you are very much confident about writing all these basic lines of code because almost in every application we do the same thing we just start from the basic so that it will be easier for you to understand as well. So now let us specify scaffold here which will provide the basic skeleton of our application and inside which let us specify an app R title with the help of a text widget so I am just specifying it like widget testing because that's what we are going to do in this particular block and within the body let us try to specify a container or for now let us try to specify one more class to make it easier for us to understand and now let us try to create one more stateless widget and for this I will be naming like home here and now we are returning a container so inside the container I will be specifying a text field here so text field and within the text field so I am just going to add a decoration here so that we can just specify a hint and this is all the optional thing because we are not going to see any output onto the emulator here but just to make some coding for the text field I am just adding these particular lines you may skip if required so for the border I am going to add outline input border and also add a label text and also add a labeled text like enter text here and these particular declarations are useful when you are trying to find an output onto the screen but here we don't have any output here and here it's asking us to add a constant to the modifier here so for now I'm just good with this particular declaration so I'm not going to add any constant over here so let's get back to our widget underscore test dot dot where we are trying to test this particular widget so the first test is like whether we have added a text field to our screen or not. So you might think like what needs to be tested we have added a text field right but not in this particular scenario but imagine where you are trying to build an application where you have hundreds of widgets 
in your application and you're not going to test every widget right so each and every time when you add new modules to your code it will be very hard for you to test whether all the widgets are present or not or all the widgets are working accordingly or not so for this case we can make use of this particular widget testing and which will be very helpful for you in maintaining a very good application okay and again this comes under a time complexity because most of the developers feel like it's like a much more time to be invested in adding these unit test cases or widget test cases or instrumented test cases that is ui test cases and again these are all the optional things without which also your application will run but these are all the things which will make or improve the performance of your application it's based upon you whether you want these things included in your application or not so now let us try to see the testing scenario so just like we have specified a test in our unit test cases and here we have a test widgets here and this will have a description and callback so description just you can specify like display text field okay so we are just trying to find out whether the text field is displayed or not so you can write any description and for the callback here we'll be making use of widget tester here widget tester and with the help of this we will try to test the functionality of the particular widget here and how we will test it let's try to see and also make sure that this is an asynchronous method here because we need to wait for the widgets to be pumped up and here let's specify await and make use of tester pump widget okay and specify our my app over here so what is my app here if you have any doubts you can just go back to our previous screen where we have written the main dot dot code here so this is our my app class here which we are specifying here and my app is also a widget so we are specifying my app widget here and now the first thing we want to find out here is whether the text field is present or not so for which let us create a variable text field and again i am specifying here the names are optional i mean you can specify any name by which you can recognize here i am just adding it as a text field so that it would be like a generic and in the real time code you might be having multiple text fields so specify the name accordingly now let us try to find the text field in our code so how we will find is like find by type here so we have here find by type so what is the widget type here text field and now let us try to expect so we are trying to find a text field on in our code so let us try to expect the same here so what we will expect here is we will expect a text field so we don't know whether the text field is present or not so we are just trying to expect a text field here so we are trying to expect finds one widget here and there are three other methods here finds one widget you can just type here so here we have finds nothing finds one widget finds widget and finds n widget so we will be seeing them in coming part of the tutorial so for now let us try to make use of find one widget okay and now let us try to run this code and check whether this widget testing works or not and here you have this particular green play symbol here and just tap on it and here you can see run test in widget test so here our test case is now passed now so here i've just forgot to add a semicolon here so make sure you add it before trying to test the functionality our test case is now passed and let us try to make some changes and see whether this is actually the scenario to test or not so instead of text field i am trying to add a text button here and now we will see whether this particular scenario works or not and here you can see our test case is now failed and why did it fail and it's here you can see that it is clearly showing you a line number 12 
in the line number 12 it is saying that we are expecting a text button here and we have found text field here instead of a text button we have found a text field here so when you try to remove this particular text field here and try to make a text button here and now let's try to run this particular code and this time this test case will pass for sure because we have specified text button here and also we have text button in our code here so this is how it will compare the two widgets which we have specified in the code and we have specified in the test case as well so make sure you specify the same text field or text button which you have specified in the code to make sure your text will pass so although it's very simple example here but in a very big applications this will be very much helpful for you to optimize your performance to optimize your application performance and make it stable throughout all the releases and now let's get a step further and try to see whether this text field works or not so now let's add await here with the help of tester let us try to enter some text into our text field here so enter text and in the finder let us specify our widget and within the text i just want to specify abi here now we need to expect right so we are trying to expect so we have specified a text like abi here and whether the same text is present in our widget or not find text of here let us try to specify the same word here and also find one widget so we are having only one widget so yes and now let's try to run this particular code and see the output and this time also i'm sure our text will pass for sure and just try to append the text here and now try to run this particular code and this time the text is fail here this is again the same scenario which we have tried in our previous tutorials where we try to unit test case a method where we try to pass two input values and try to expect the output value right so in the same way we are trying to pass a text into our text field here trying to test whether the both the texts are equal or not and just trying to find the functionality is working or not and here again you can just replace the widgets here instead of text field you can add text form field text widget also you can specify text button just now we have seen so try to find try to replace uh, different widgets and try to test them with the help of this particular test case scenario and let me know in the comment section below if you find any errors so yes this is it for this tutorial and in our coming tutorials we will try to see more on widget testing so if you like this tutorial do like share and subscribe to our channel for more interesting content on flutter